Hi, I'm Dr. Asit Arora. I'm a GI surgeon and a GI oncosurgeon at Max Hospital Saket. Today, we're going to talk about uh, gallbladder and its uh, associated diseases, including stones. So, gallbladder, it's a small secular organ which is uh, attached to the undersurface of liver. It is located on the right side of your abdomen, just beneath uh, the right ribs. The function, main function of gallbladder is that it uh, stored the excess amount of bile that is secreted in liver and it uh, actually concentrates it. And it releases this bile at the time of meals and it helps in digestion. Now, owing to its function of uh, concentrating bile, it's very prone to uh, gallstone formation. So whenever this bile is super saturated in cholesterol and pigments, this can get precipitated and it forms, initially it forms small concretions, which we call sludge, and later on it can combine to form large stones. Now this process usually takes months and years and years all together. The main risk factors of getting these gallstones is basically obesity. When your diet is rich in fat, which is leading to high cholesterol in your blood and thereby leading to high cholesterol in your bile. Second is lack of physical activity. And then females more than 40 years who are obese are more prone to having gallstones. Now, usually, uh, if you look at the overall population, gallstones are present in as much as 30 to 50 percent of general population. But most of the times, these stones are asymptomatic. They usually do not cause any symptoms. But if they cause symptoms in a small fraction of patients, those symptoms are usually present with pain. This pain could be mild dull aching to a very sharp shooting pain which is either on the right side of your tummy, just beneath the right ribs. This pain can radiate towards the shoulder or to the back. This pain is usually precipitated by having a heavy meal or a fatty meal, and it is usually intermittent in nature. It can get subsided over neck about a couple of hours, and it may shoot up again after weeks or months, having a very pain-free interval in between. If remain neglected, gallstones have a propensity to cause complications. Stones can slip out of gallbladder into the bile duct, leading to jaundice. It can also block the duct of pancreas, causing inflammation in pancreas, which we call as pancreatitis, which is a potential life-threatening condition. You can have uh, stones blocking your bile duct and causing permanent damage to it. And in very rare circumstances, if neglected for very long, these symptomatic stones can lead to cancer formation at a later date. So if somebody has incidental stones, that is stones which are not causing any symptoms whatsoever and they are detected during some other reason, for example, somebody getting a annual health checkup and during that health checkup, you, you end up getting an ultrasound and ultrasound shows that there is a stone in gallbladder, but that stone is totally asymptomatic. Such a stone can be kept under observation, under strict observation after consulting your doctor. And if he feels that it is safe to be kept under observation, then it can be done so. Now, there is a myth prevailing in the society there are many people who claim that gallstone can be dissolved or it can pass out of gallbladder without any issues. I don't think that's right and we should uh, debunk this myth here. Gallstones once formed, they cannot be dissolved by any medicine or any other treatment modality. Any symptomatic stone, surgery is the only option and in surgery, you remove the gallbladder along with the stones you cannot remove the stones alone. So since gallbladder is the cause of stone formation and it is the dismotility and concentration of the bile which leads to gallstone formation, the treatment is removal of the entire gallbladder. Now this is one of the most common surgeries performed the world over and laparoscopic gallbladder surgery is the gold standard surgery as if now. This is a very safe and a simple procedure. A typical gallbladder surgery lasts around half an hour and it has a very, very long and a safe track record. It requires hardly two to three days of recovery period 
and most of the patients tolerate the surgery pretty well. Most of the people have concern that after gallbladder surgery, once we have removed the gallbladder, what would be the long-term consequences on their body? So mostly this is a very well tolerated surgery and traditionally it does not have any long-term consequences. A small percentage of patient have some dysmotility. Some of the patients complain of uh, increased frequency of stools which usually settle with time and some patients do complain of uh, little dyspeptic symptoms which also settle with time. So as a whole this is a very well tolerated surgery and a very safe surgery. Regarding complications, the overall complications of gallbladder surgery is less than 1%. Most common but the most serious complications would be injury to the bile duct or bile leak and bleeding. But with the present technology and the hardware that we have, these complications are becoming uh, rare and rare as the experience of surgeons are increasing. So overall, I would say in a nutshell that if anybody has gallstones which are symptomatic in any way, if patients have pain or dyspepsia or they have experienced any sort of complication related to gallbladder, they should seek an expert medical advice. Uh, if you have any questions pertaining to uh, this topic, uh, please uh, send down your messages in the uh, message box. Uh, our team of experts would be happy to answer them. Thank you.